everybody. Today I have another haul for you. And today's haul is actually based on your request. I saw a lot of people asking, hey, what's with all of Target's new swim? How does it fit? What do you think? And I said, huh, sounds like it's time for a haul. So today's haul is 100% Target swim. Yes, I know. It is February, but like spring break's coming and it's about time you start looking for a bikini or a swimsuit that makes you feel fine. So let's jump right in. So the first suit I have is actually a mix and match. I saw this crochet top, which I absolutely loved, but I didn't see a bottom for it. So I grabbed this solid purple bottom to go with it because I just thought it would pull out the purple color. Now, both of these pieces are from Exhilaration and I have a 22 in the top and a 3X in the bottom. Now, one of the things I'll note is this is crocheted fabric, so it is gonna take a little bit longer to dry, which is kind of a negative for me because I hate having to put on a wetsuit after I've worn it. And I like to be in the water all the time. So I'll like swim in the morning, get out, have lunch, and then go back in. And I wanna dry out in between. Overall though, it's a very cool top. I love the way it looks. It does have molded cups. It doesn't have any support other than it does have some bars right here, some boning to keep the suit up, but we're not looking at any under cup support. So if you're a larger chested lady, this may not have the support you need. As far as the bottoms, they're a mid rise, just a standard purple bottom. There's really not much to them. They are a little bit on the lower cut. I would call them a mid to low rise bikini. Um, and yeah, just a standard purple bikini bottom. So I absolutely love the top. The bottoms, again, are just a little bit low cut. I'm not necessarily needing a high rise. It's just where it's hitting is right where I know there's gonna be some rolling because of the way my body's shape. So like, even if I just had like a half an inch higher here on the side, I'd feel more supported. The next suit we have is because I love neon pink. So this is a Barbie pink set. As you can see, both the top and the bottom are ribbed. This sits a little bit higher than the last bottom, but still is a little low, not quite a high rise. And the top has a little peekaboo cut out right here, a little window pane. Again, we have the molded cups and the boning. And it's really interesting. You can see a little ruching here by the boning, which is going to add a little definition and shape to the cup as well. In the back, we have all these adjustable straps. And you can even in the back resize it by going further or less out on the little loops they have in the back. So it is resizable and resizable here on the hooks. Um... Overall, it's a pretty soft fabric. It's an interesting fabric. It doesn't feel like a swimsuit should feel. So I'm interested to see how this would actually do in water. The cutout is nice. Um, for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of under boob, this is actually gonna be fine on me. The tiny ladies will look fabulous. And I just think the color is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life's fantastic when you're in a pool swimming. Let's not say plastic, because I just want to be swimming right now. But I love this, so comfy. Our next suit is another mashups where I took a top and bottom and put them together. So this is the top. It's a long line bikini top, which means it's gonna do the full coverage and then just have a little bit more that hangs down below the normal bra line. And it's in this really fun orange cheetah print, which I actually really like. Now this one, unlike the others, does not have any boning on the side. It's a total free form. So it's a little bit more comfortable because you're not gonna have anything that's gonna dig into you. That said, you are gonna get less support. The straps are not adjustable on this one. So you kind of get what you have and if it doesn't fit you right, tough luck. Now the bottoms, and I will say this, when I measured them out against all the other bottoms, were way smaller. Now I'm not sure if that means we're supposed to have the ties really, really open or if they were just cut small. It seems a little bit off in the sizing department. It's a standard black bikini bottom, lacing up the sides, nothing really exciting about it other than it looks definitely much smaller. I really wish they had had this print in a bottom because I would have rather just had more of this print because it's awesome, so fun. It's my favorite color. And this, the suit song is, Tiny bottoms. It's, these bottoms are really small. <laughs> I do not like them. But the, the sad thing is I love, absolutely adore the top. I think it's so cute. So what I might do is keep the top and try to find something better to go on bottom because these bottoms, eh, no good. Our next bikini is a little bit of glitz and glam. So this 
has a little bit of metallic fabric sewn through it. I don't know how well it comes up on camera. And then it does have some little cut out window pane straps here in the front. Again, a low to mid rise bottom. The top has a similar window pane kind of design on the sides and then adjustable straps in the back, both around the bra size band here and on the lengths of the straps. It does have that boning and ruching like we saw in the pink top, but other than the pink top, it's straight across the front. So it doesn't have that cutout that we saw in the hot pink suit. I like this fabric, but I'm gonna say this metallic in feeling it just for a little bit, it might be a little itchy. It might have a little itch to it because it is not as smooth as the rest of the suit. I do like this little detail here where the straps are a little crisscrossed, a little interesting design. Overall, I love the print, but I am a little concerned about that scratchiness because it doesn't, again, doesn't feel as smooth as the other suits. So I actually like this suit. So this is exactly what I was talking about. It's still a little bit more of a low rise bottom, but it's hitting me at a place where it's not gonna fold over and I feel fully supported. Also, I love the little touch of metallic. I think it's a really cute suit. <clears throat> the next suit is kind of like out on the limb for me. The bottom, again, a standard bottom. It's got a little ruching here on the side. Nothing like super fancy, nothing super exciting, but there is that little ruching detail here. But the top is, is I, I don't know, I've just not seen this before. It is, um, no, that's the wrong way. It's like a pleated front, which I thought, okay, well maybe we'll make it look like I have a larger chest. It laces up in the back, but then it also has these straps. Now, I'll be real candid with you. I don't think tube tops stay up. I have been on many vacations, and unless you are lying there sunning, you need the straps. Um, this also does have a really long line of boning, much longer than any of the other suits that is supposed to obviously keep this up. Uh, though I would say it doesn't seem like it'd be enough because again, there's no cups to hold you if you actually have um, a, a pretty significant chest. I have somehow tied this very bizarrely, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cute. It's just a little weird. I don't know how I feel about this pleating up here. I'm either gonna like it or hate it and stay tuned because right after this, you'll find out which. I don't love how this looks on me. I don't feel very comfortable. The bottom is really low and I'd be afraid of it rolling down, which is like kind of a requirement for me to be able to be move and be active as I want in a suit. Also, the top feels really small. I got all the tops in the same size and this one just feels like, ah, oh! and I, again, like to be comfortable when I'm swimming. This suit I'm in love with. I'm in love with it from the second I saw it on site and then I was like, it's gotta be mine. So the bottom is a tie-dye bottom and this is definitely a higher rise bottom, which I appreciate because your girl got a booty and she likes to have it covered. I love the tie-dye print. It's still light and carefree, but it's got some fun neons in there. Oh, it's just it's just fantastic. The top can be worn as a tube top. I don't know why they are so insistent to try to convince us to wear tube tops this season, but it also has straps, so your girl will be strapping herself in because, duh. And it's just the fabric is really stretchy, really, really comfortable. Like I can tell instantly from the fabric that this is gonna be a comfortable suit to wear. This is gonna be a suit I'm gonna wanna be in for the full day. And looking here, the bottom of the suit is lined. So even though it is light, it's not gonna be see-through. So I'm pumped about this one. I'm actually gonna throw this in my suitcase for Disney because I hope to wear this at one of the resorts because it's so cute. It's so cute! Look forward to pictures because they're coming. They're coming for you. So I love this suit. It's super comfortable. It's bright. It's fun. It's just like me. And also what I love is there are straps that you can hook in as well. So I can either wear it like a tube top or I can wear it as a little bralette, which is adorable. I'm obsessed. The last bikini we have is another ribbed bikini. This one, I just really loved the top. And it is a ribbed tie front top fully adjustable as you can see straps are adjustable back is adjustable and i just love this style i think it's a very like classic suit that looks good on every body type small chested large chested whatever kind of ladies you rocking up there this suit generally is going to look good on it's kind of like the a-line dress of bikini tops now the bottom is also ribbed, same stripe pattern. Again, that little bit of that mid-rise bottom suit, not fully a high rise, but enough coverage there. I will say, I don't love the feel of this fabric. Just like the pink one, it has a feeling that I just, oh, I don't like. 
And I'm really picky because I'm, if I'm going to be in a suit, I'm going to be in it for all day, likely. So I want it to dry out. I want it to be comfortable. And this sums off about the fabric, which is a bummer because I love these colors. I don't see this in plus suits a lot, this color combination. And I think it's interesting because of that. So I'm a little bummed because I just don't think I'm going to wear it because of that feeling. I'm tactile. So, so this suit is super comfortable on the top. The cut for the bottom, I wish it was either a half an inch lower or an inch higher because it's hitting at a little bit of a weird point for me. But that said, I love the color combo of like the peach and the baby blue. Now we're gonna talk about one piece swimsuits. I wanna include a couple of those. I typically wear bikinis because I have a long torso. So oftentimes with one pieces, they're just frankly not long enough for me. And if I buy a larger suit to get the length, then I don't get the support I need because I'm small chested, I get a much larger chest. It's really, really hard for me to find one piece suits that I really love. So I grabbed a couple, tried them on for you, but I will say my heart and soul is usually in a bikini. <laughs> Plus I know I like to have a tan stomach. Don't judge me. So the first one I got because I'm going to Hawaii, and this is one of those suits that like could be borderline old ladyish, but I loved the color so much that I was willing to give it a chance. Now the way it comes on is you just slide it over your body and then it cooks here at the top around your neck. And then in the back you have these straps which are adjustable here so you can add height to it if you need by loosening these straps. It's a really cute standard one piece. The fabric feels really nice. It's from, you know, one of the brands that uh, Target has launched that I haven't heard of before, which is Kona Soul. Most of the other suits we just looked at were from um, Exhilarated. Yeah, I've never heard of Kona Soul before. So this is, I think, a new brand that they've launched this season at Target, like an in-house brand. I really like the structure of it. Again, no cups, but there's also no boning, which I don't like boning. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like boning. 14 year old me thought that was hilarious. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of having boning in suits. I just like to be really comfortable. So at first I thought this was an old lady swimsuit, but then I put it on and it was really cute. So I took it all back. <laughs> Cause I look adorable. The next suit is also from Kona Soul. I thought this was really cute, really, really fun. It's a halter top suit with a lovely little keyhole design here that is generated by the strap. So you can loosen this and tighten this as much as you want. You can also pull this up for a little bit more coverage so you can get it, you know, more coverage if you want or less coverage, whoop, depending on how you want to wear it. it. Has a fully exposed back. And I think this is really cute. I like halters because they really tend to work with my long torso. That said, I don't love the way the straps on halters feel around my neck after a long day. So, while I love how they look on me, they're not my go-to suit because of the neck pain. Now, I know there's different tricks you can do to like pin the straps to the back and things like that, but if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it because it works now, not with like 45 adjustments. So that's my only like hesitation on this one. I do really love this brown snakeskin print, and I think it's really fun, good color for me. So thinking on this one, I don't know how I feel about it yet. So I love this suit. I think it's super cute, super chill. Um, I don't love things that tie at my neck just because I tend to get like pulled forward a little bit and that hurts at the end of the day. Next suit we have is a black one piece. This is super sexy, it goes all the way down the front, but yet it's still very modest, which I love, love, love. The back also dips pretty low with some ticking back here. So you gotta make sure you pull this up and cover your booty because there's a chance that the girl could come out. Just pointing it out. Fully adjustable at the top. The only issue I have here is these are sewn down in the front. They're not laced. So since they're not laced, um, I can already see here that there's a lot of extra given for the chest region. Typically, if I'm in a suit like this, I want it to be laced. So I can just pull that, maybe extend a little bit further down or even it through the bottom so that it's tight at the chest so I don't have any gaping there. Uh, I know that I'm probably gonna have gaping on this because I don't feel those cups. <laughs> in my dreams, I feel those cups. But I'm kind of bummed because I think this suit is really fantastic. I think it's a great suit for someone who's not really comfortable in a bikini but still wants to be sassy and sexy. I think this is a really great option. And it's classic black, which everybody everybody's okay, usually okay with a black suit. Not me, I like color, but some people just like a good black suit, just like they like a good black dress. It's the same principle, really. So I really actually like this swimsuit, but it's definitely for women with a slightly larger chest because the loops up here 
I, they're loose. They're not even pulled taut. So I think we'll look better with someone with a little bit more of an ample bosom. <laughs> the last two suits we have are color blocked and I wanted to see the difference between them. Um, one thing I noticed when I got this and it really kind of made me mad is this is like a miracle slimming suit, which I am not a fan of for many reasons. A, because let's be real here. Nobody cares if you look a half an inch smaller on the beach. Literally, nobody cares. It's not going to change your world. Second of all, um, these suits are usually tight because they're like made to like suck in my gut. My gut's not going away, swimsuit or not. So uh, as much as I like this weird combination of colors, I instantly like me because of that. It does have adjustable straps. Though I will say this was one of the more expensive suits and the quality does not look as nice as the ones from Target that were much cheaper. I think this is a brand they stock, not Target specifically. So it's actually a little surprised that this suit of all the suits should have been the fancy, fancy one. And it's, it's not. Um, Again, no boning, nothing, just kind of a standard, you know, coverage here with some cups and, you know, lining all the way through. Yeah, you know, standard swimsuit. That's supposed to make you look slimmer. I feel like a patchwork sausage. It's one of those miracle suits that suck you in. And I just don't understand why someone would want to look so good for another person that they would feel this terrible in a piece of clothing. Excuse me, I will choose comfort over looking a half an inch smaller any day, any day. The last suit we have, and again, I do not know what it is this season with strapless suits. This is a strapless suit that you can convert to a strapped suit. I liked it because it has this fun little lace up back and I love the colors in the color block. Again, I worry because of the torso here. You can even see just holding it up to me. If I look down, I'm like, it eh, doesn't quite reach my region that it needs to reach down there so it's probably gonna be like hanging for dear life right right there and I'm gonna be like oh don't because that is the way my body is shaped and I will say that's one thing you learn about your body is what works and what doesn't for it long torso people one pieces are gonna be hard short torso people they might be your best friend it just depends Know your body, shop for your body, and shop for what makes you feel confident. I say this to people all the time. Swimsuits should be about activity and practicality. If you want a suntan and you want a smaller suit because that's what you want to do, then buy that suit. If you want something that's more full coverage or even a full one piece, even into a rash guard, um, so you can do outdoor activities without burning, do that. Just buy what makes you feel comfortable. Forget what someone else thinks of you in the suit because the reality is the person who is at the beach worrying about your body is always the loser because I have never at a beach spent my time worrying about someone else. I've spent my time consuming margaritas. I've spent my time playing in the water and I've spent my time asleep. That's how you should be spending your time on a beach. Well, there's a lot of other things you could do on the beach, but if you're using your time to make fun of people, you're, you're probably the problem. This swimsuit gets a solid meh for me, maybe. Um, I had to put the straps on. It can technically be worn strapless, but it was falling down. So straps it is. Anyway, with that, I hope you guys had an amazing time watching me try on all these suits. Links to everything are down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it. Plus, you'd get more of this in your life. And with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.